Abby Jacobson's first major TV role came when she starred in the buzzy Comedy Central series, Everybody Loved It, Broad City, where she hilariously navigated life in New York City. Well, now, Abby is stepping up to the plate once again. It's a new series, A League of Their Own. It's inspired, of course, by the 1992 Penny Marshall film. But it has a modern twist. Take a look. Why are you watching what everyone else is doing? Watch yourself. Yeah, watch yourself. No, you guys are right. I need that kind of confidence. Oh, get up there, get up there. <laughs> Abby! Oh my gosh. First of all, I cannot wait to see this because I think so many of us saw the movie A League of Their Own. We always remember the characters, Rosie O'Donnell, Madonna, Gina yeah. Davis, all of those. Yes. So I was wondering before I learned about this, is what you're doing kind of a takeoff on that? It's a takeoff on that in that it is everyone that made this show. It's one of our favorite movies. I yeah. love this yes. movie so much. So does everyone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's a lot of pressure. But <laughs> it, it's inspired by the, the film is about the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. And half of our story is also about that. But we really wanted to tell totally new stories and really open it up to be about a generation of women playing baseball and not just the All-American Girls League. So mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's expanding, and, and I'm not playing a character from the film. Yeah. None of us are playing a character okay. from the film. I am I am a catcher on the show, but that yeah. does not mean I'm trying to be Gina Davis. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the movie is always available. Yeah. Yes. It's not going away, because yeah. this is now on. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? People are loving this, and I know you worked with a woman that we think oh. sounds incredible, Maybelle. Yes, Maybelle Ooh. Blair. Tell us all about her, please. So in doing this, this show is heavily researched. We really wanted all the stories we were telling to be as authentic as possible. And so Maybelle Blair was one of our consultants on the show. Yeah, oh, that's, that's us dancing oh. last weekend. Uh, she's 95. And wow. so she initially came on to consult about what it was like to be on the league, what it was like to play baseball and softball at the time. And um, in doing so, she also really, we really got to know her. I'm queer. The other creator, Will Graham, is queer. And Maybelle really opened up to us about being queer. She's 95. She was not publicly, she had not been publicly out and talked about how that league was, was in part, a lot of the women were queer on it. And um, it was a very sort of hidden part of that experience. Yes. Uh, as you know, in the film, it's not a, really a part of the film at all. But um, Maybelle, we screened the, the show uh, at Tribeca Film Festival in June. And Maybelle, we were in a panel and Maybelle came out publicly at oh, 95. Wow. What She's happened? so, I mean, it was incredible to be there for that experience and to be part of that experience. I think it it made me feel that this show is telling those stories and it's and it can impact people, I yes. think, that haven't seen themselves. And for someone who's 95 to finally come out mm -hmm. is simultaneously incredible, mm -hmm. like for her to finally be who she is, but also I think it's pretty heartbreaking that it took 95 years for her to be who she is and I hope that the show can kind of yeah it's not interesting that, yes. that yeah. show if not for the show who knows if she would have come out at all it makes me feel like it's way bigger than the show wow. yeah really can we say first of all back to you for a second congratulations on your engagement yes. Jody <laughs> and you announced oh. this at the well I guess publicly I didn't yeah. it just <laughs> I like it, we got engaged in June, but then, you know, you do a press and then you're all of a sudden talking about yourself a and, lot. So, and this yeah. is our other favorite show, Ted Lasso. Yeah. So your fiance she's, uh, she's, is yeah, going to be in the, in the new season? Gonna, yeah, she's in London right now. Wait, Wait do, you, what? do you call her and say, what's what happening? happening? Oh, I know all no, of you No, you don't. Who, okay, who is she playing? Can you tell us that? <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna get okay, it. okay. But she's also on For All Mankind, which is incredible oh if you God. haven't watched that. It's on Apple. It's okay, ended. good. Yeah. How is that when your partner is also in the industry and you're getting you're each getting different roles and does that it's ever get pretty, it's inspiring. Yeah. I think it's it's really nice because it's sort of juggling back and forth. We're not often shooting at the same time. And it's just sort of it's a you know exactly what it feels like to be in that position. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's very supportive. Um, the other thing you tackle in this show, which wasn't really in the movie, was like, a, you know, a hint of it is race. Yeah. Yeah. There's an iconic scene from the film. Truly, if you mm -hmm. like yawn or something, you yeah. blink, you miss the scene. So there's a foul ball 
A black woman picks it up, chucks it back, and Gina Davis catches it. And yeah. Penny Marshall, who directed the film, is hinting at the fact, the historical fact, that this league did not allow women of color to try out or to play. Mm. And so that's half of our show yes. is exploring, wow. well, what happens when that door is closed for Max, who um, is mm. Shantae Adams' character on the show? What does she do to find her team? Mm -hmm. And she's inspired by three women, Tony Stone, Connie Morgan, and Mamie Johnson, who I, everyone should look them up, but if you don't, mm -hmm. you can watch our show. They went on to play in the Negro Leagues with men. And oh, wow. that it, I didn't know, I knew about Tony Stone a little bit when we started, but I didn't know about uh, that mm -hmm. much about their stories. And we were just like, that's fascinating. It's part of American baseball history. And we're so excited. That, that storyline, we were like, the more we researched, the more we felt that is where we need to follow. Yeah, wow. I mean, the fact that you have mm -hmm. taken this iconic film mm -hmm. and made it even probably more authentic to mm -hmm. the time. I, I, it really is. is like, incredible. we really did our research, so. Awesome. Well, Abby, Abby we're, we're excited proud of you. you. Yes, thank Thanks. you. A Thanks. league of their own streaming now on Prime and Video. Everybody is saying it's I know. just incredible. Buzzing. So congratulations.